Hey guys, it's Dr. Rich, I'm back. I'm sorry, I know it's been a while. I wanted to get back on and give you an update on what's new in endometriosis. Before I do that though, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. So I'm gonna do a reacts video today. It's a little bit unusual because I'm gonna react to my own video that I did three years ago so we can find out what's new in endometriosis. So endometriosis is actually caused by that menstrual fluid, that lining, that instead of all coming out during your period, it can back out through the tubes and then implant in places inside. Retrograde menstruation. Let's address the elephant in the room. So we talked about this in one of my prior videos and the theory is that endometriosis arises from the actual endometrium in the uterus, goes back out through the tubes and implants on places in the pelvis. We know now from expert consensus that this is not true. Endometriosis arises from a change in the tissues that are in the pelvis and this is endometrium-like tissue with glands and stroma. That's what endometriosis is. It is not endometrial tissue that happens to be in the pelvis. Endometriosis is a completely separate clinical entity that resembles the endometrium, but the prevailing theory is that the cells in the pelvis change from normal lining cells into endometriosis. And creates this very debilitating disease. There are many online resources, including the Cleveland Clinic, that talk about retrograde menstruation as a possible cause of endometriosis. Again, expert consensus has determined this is not true and uh, we need to kind of evolve our understanding of the disease so we can all move towards eradicating this disease. And in the meantime, we need to take women's health more seriously, give the disease the attention and the research funding that it needs to be able to move towards a cure and give patients the care and the treatment and the respect that they deserve as they're dealing with this condition and as we're dealing with the limitations of our technology to be able to identify and treat and make sure that all patients have access to an expert to give patients the best chance at a cure. All menstrual periods are awful. But how do we know if it's regular menstrual periods or a disease process called endometriosis? So March is Endometriosis Awareness Month. And so we're going to highlight the differences between standard periods and endometriosis. Now, ladies, you guys understand this better than I ever could, but we're gonna go over a clinical perspective of what standard period cramping should look like. So every month you're going to have a process where an egg is ovulated and this will result in a menstrual flow if pregnancy fertilization doesn't occur. So during this time period, somewhere between three and seven days, there's going to be a lot of inflammation which will result in cramping. Now, typically this can be managed with over-the-counter medicines like Motrin, Ibuprofen, Tylenol. So if we're experiencing pains that are much worse than this, pains that require us to take time off of work, then this is something that we want to do a deeper look at to see if you could have endometriosis. So first of all, I want to thank all of my 66,000 subscribers for going with us on this journey of healthcare. It's been quite an incredible experience. I mean, I posted this video in 2022 and uh, already so much has changed in that time. One thing I want to point out is that there are so many women that suffer with endometriosis and there are so few providers that are surgical experts that can have the skill set and the talent to really transform a patient's life by truly removing all of the disease. And these providers come in all different shapes and sizes and we all have our own clinical experience, education, training background, and we're all here to help. So again, I wanna thank everybody for coming on this journey and uh, helping me learn more as I have this educational platform. So standard cramps compared to the physical signs of endometriosis. So endometriosis involves the entire pelvis. So you're gonna have cramping that is more than can just be controlled by Motrin Tylenol. It may actually require narcotic medication or nerve medications to manage the pain. 
Um, it also involves inflammation in the entire pelvis. This could result in someone having urinary urgency, running to the bathroom uh, more often, uh, or even leakage during the period. Uh, it could affect the bowel, and this could result in diarrhea or even constipation specifically around the period. And in severe cases, there could be blood in the urine, blood in the stool during the period. Um, nausea, uh, stomach upset, bloating. Um, these are all symptoms that in combination or even individually may be a sign that there's something more going on than regular periods. So we get a number of comments on this particular video pointing out that endometriosis is not just a pelvic disease. And so we wanna shed some light on that. Endometriosis has been found in literally every single organ system in the body. It's been found in the lung, even in brain tissue. Now these cases are the vast minority, but obviously for the patient that has those conditions, it is drastic and severe and, and they really need to be able to get to a specialist and really a team of specialists that can help them uh, with this very challenging surgical treatment that would be required to remove uh, this type of extra pelvic disease. And something that you really should see your doctor to evaluate if you could have endometriosis. So what are the behavioral symptoms of endometriosis? So patients tend to take time off from work and school routinely. So when the pain and the symptoms are so bad that you can't really perform at the level that uh, you're used to doing and you actually take time off of work every month, this is time to get evaluated. Another common symptom is excessive use of uh, heating pad. Uh, there's actually characteristic skin changes that we see on patients that have such severe pain that they sleep with a heating pad every day and it actually causes some thermal damage to the skin. And finally, Another sign is pains that are so bad that you end up in an urgent care or an emergency room. Um, once in a while, maybe a ruptured cyst, this could be normal for regular periods, but if this is something that's happening routinely, uh, very highly suspicious for endometriosis. I wanna thank everybody for their comments, for helping me make better, more accurate content for everybody. Um, again, go ahead and jump on that, subscribe, and uh, share with a friend.